It's 8.29 on a sunny Friday morning over lower Manhattan, but soon a camera on board the NYPD helicopter zeroes in on a potentially deadly situation high above Murray Street in Tribeca. Scaffolding sits perpendicular to a high rise, one end jammed into the 46th floor. Two men who work for a window glazing company are stranded after the scaffolding, snared by the wind, was sent spinning out of control. As they lowered down the side of the building, the wind caught the scaffold and spun it around, we believe, four times. Each time it banged into the windows, it broke glass. Windows on several floors shattered. The shards of glass rained down on the construction site and surrounding streets below. One pedestrian was injured, but not seriously. Workers say they ran for cover. Somebody yelled, get off the job, there's glass coming down. So we all ran to our muster points that we have to go to. At 8.30, the rescue efforts began. A safety line was tossed out towards the men, but it fell short. A second attempt was successful, and one of the workers secured the line to the scaffolding. At 8.31, rescue crews started reeling in the workers, eventually pulling them alongside the building. At 8.50, the men began to climb up inside, one at a time. Chopper 2 was overhead when the second worker climbed in through the open window a minute later, ending the ordeal at 8.51. These are the men with the NYPD Emergency Services Unit who took part in the rescue, but they say they can't take all of the credit for getting the men to safety. We assisted them through the window. They said, we got it. We'll climb up on our own. They worked with us. They weren't victims up there. They were two hardcore construction workers, you know, that went for a ride because of Mother Nature. And the Department of Buildings says an initial investigation reveals that the scaffolding was not properly secured. In Lower Manhattan tonight, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. Okay, Valerie.